Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and today I wanted to share a project that I was working on. I'm going to share everything that went wrong and how I worked through that and fixed it. So I'm using this SVG design that I've created in the Silhouette Studio software. I'm going to open that SVG under File and Open. Then I'm going to select the SVG file and I'm going to use this as a print and cut with the Caesar Easy Color DTV. I did use a custom page size of 11 by 11. I'm going to share my process because some things didn't go right. I centered that on my page with my registration marks and then I'm going to send this custom size to print on my Canon printer. Now here I went to the preferences and you can see I have a custom page size set up. I'm going to select my rear tray to feed that custom size through and then I'm going to send that to my printer. Now, I had an issue. I ran into an issue here with how it printed. So we're gonna take a look here at the print coming through my printer. And what you're going to see quickly here is that it is not centered on that 11 by 11 inch page. I already had it printed, so I'm gonna test this out and I'm gonna try it. But if I try to send this with the automatic registration, it is not going to work. It is not matching my Silhouette Studio software and it is going to either cut wrong or fail. So I loaded that into my Silhouette Cameo machine, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the software, and I'm going to click on the Send tab, and then I'm going to select my Easy Color DTV setting that I have already set up. I'll link in the description below on how you can create custom settings. I'm using the settings from the Caesar website, but I did put in a brand new blade and I should have done test cuts. Now I know I need to do manual registration here. So I'm going to right click on the Cameo icon and choose manual registration, click on send, and it's going to tell me that I need to move my tool one over the black square. So I'm going to click register, and then those arrows are going to show up on the right side of that Cameo 4 machine and I need to move my housing so my tool 1 is over top of that black square. This is going to manually register. I sent it to cut and it cut. I did not know if it was going to work, but I already had it printed so I might as well try. I tested it to see if it was going to weed. One thing to keep in mind here is that the Caesar Easy Color DTV is not a sticky backing, so you need to be careful when you are weeding. Another thing is wait 24 hours after printing before you apply the mask. So I had to record this in several different ways. Here I'm showing you the little areas that have lifted, and I'm going to apply the mask 24 hours after it's printed. I'm going to apply it so it is laying it down in a way that is going to push those areas down and not lift them up or bunch them up. So I am applying that mask completely to the Caesar DTV and I screwed up here again. I did not line that up, but we're gonna go with it. And it's on the very edge of my design, so it's going to work. Now, this section of the video I have sped up four times. It took me a little over five minutes. It is not the product's fault. I had a new blade, I should have test cut. It cut into the backing of the DTV. You do not want that to happen, but if it does, you can still work with it as I'm showing here, and I wanted to show you the process. I had a brand new blade in, and you can actually see here that it cut completely through the backing in some areas. So this is complete user error, this is on me, but I worked through this, and I wanted to share the process with you that you can still save your designs. It is not a loss. I was very determined in this project. It was gonna work. And once I did that, had the backing off, I'm gonna show you here. So you can see that that design is actually cut into the backing and in some areas, it cut completely through that backing. But I was still able to work with it. So it took a little bit of patience and a little extra time but it worked and it was my own fault. So I grabbed my t-shirt, I'm doing a little bit of a test fit here, see how it goes, and then I'm moving over to my heat press and I'm going to pre-press my garment several times. You pre-press to not only get out the moisture but also the wrinkles because you can see my shirt was very wrinkly from being thrown around my studio for a few months now. 
And I wanted to get all those wrinkles out so that DTV can go on very, very smooth. Again, make sure you wait 24 hours to mask when you're using the DTV. And then another important part is you're going to wait 24 hours after you apply the DTV, after you heat press it, and then you're going to wash it as well. So very specific instructions for the Caesar Easy Color DTV, but I am loving it. I currently have shirts that are over a year old, almost, uh, yeah, a year old, over 30 washes, maybe closer to 50, and they are looking fabulous still. So since my design was larger than my press, I did do this in multiple presses, and I did a few seconds for each press, but I made sure that it was under the press as much as possible. I used a cover sheet, and I just kept doing small increments of press. You want to make sure that you can see the fibers of your shirt through that DTV, just like with regular HTV. And this is, H this is HTV. It's printable heat transfer vinyl direct to vinyl. You can see I have a little bit of white there from my print and cut, but oh, it's so good. I mean, really, 1 16th inch on a silhouette machine is perfectly normal. And here's a look at the finished project. I love this. Check out the links in the description below. I'll have a video out on an exactly step-by-step -step how-to on how you can create this design yourself with a few basic steps. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great day.